Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well in today's reading will be looking at however you're thinking about for the rest of the year. There's a strong physical attraction here right away. It will be an instant connection. This person's very cautious is what I'm getting when it comes to love. They have an issue where they can be over analyzer, right? They have a hard time making a decision. Um, more so because they are cautious, right? They don't want to take that wrong turn, so they do um, take their time. So it's slow and steady in their approach is what I'm getting. But once they do make up their mind, they go in it full force, right? There's no reservations here. But they can be. Once they let their guard down, they're very carefree, fun to be around. Someone who's quite romantic, likely into that, you know, words of affirmation, just someone candlelight dinners just a romantic vibe i'm getting from them they like to dress up and go out with their partners they can be very adventurous someone who likes traveling they may even be from a distance from where you're at right now because i am being drawn to the boat here and the knight of cups is on water and the six of swords we see transition there as well so definitely can be from a different location from where you're at can be someone who's prone to jealousy or possessiveness. It is a lucky individual. Sometimes this person does take some risks, which others may deem to be foolish, but they end up paying off for this person. They're very lucky. They have an easier time than others going with the flow. There's a weird energy um, with that Scorpio and Fool. It's almost opposites in their personality. So they may be someone who has for example, sun in Taurus and moon in Scorpio. There's something that's contradicting about this person's energy. May even have moon square Venus. A part of them craves stability, tradition, routine, and another part of them is very freedom loving, not wanting to be tied down to anything. So that is something they'll have to work on here. It's a challenge within themselves with opposition. But overall, pleasant character is what I'm getting. Their reputation, how they're perceived, we have conjunction Libra, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. While they're known to be very empowered, um, someone who's quite confident, and they are known for their looks here. Um, they're someone who gets a lot of attention, um, maybe someone who likes to do their hair, they wear their makeup. They're very particular about their appearance. They have a good fashion sense. Um, they dress wealthy or they look important. They may like to wear dresses or just formal attire. I'm getting a business person vibe from them. May even own their own business, but um, if they're in a position of authority with King of Pentacles, they're a well-liked boss. They're very friendly and easy to get along with. They're very disciplined, hardworking. They're reasonable, so if they are in a position of authority, they treat everyone fairly, they don't discriminate, right? Libra, I'm being drawn to the justice scales. Very positive, friendly vibes coming from them. And they are viewed as attractive, confident, and who's very skillful, likely has an advanced education. They can be someone who's very skilled with their hands, I'm getting can also be known for some of their artistic skills. They may be painters, may like to dance. Very graceful individual. How you'll meet them, we have semi-sextile, death, eight of cups, the devil. Semi-sextile is when we're going with the flow. So they're saying there's some toxicity here that with the devil can be a toxic relationship you need to end or you have ended, right? But it's you're breaking free from something and you're moving forward here is around the time you meet them. They're not quite giving me how you'll meet, but they're saying you'll have to let go of control issues and go with the flow. They're not giving me much here, but it is indicating that there is some toxic patterns that you will be walking away from. Um, it's almost an end of a chapter and a new beginning around the time you meet this person. So it definitely can be walking away from an abusive relationship, some bad habits you may have, mental restrictions, you know, self-sabotage can be a variety of things, a toxic environment, workplace, but you've left something behind and you're starting afresh is how you'll meet them. Can be through friends or some sort of gathering I was getting for some of you, through people you know. 
they may set you up. Okay. How they'll be approaching you, we have fourth house, high priestess, four of pentacles, two of pentacles, the world. They'll have their guard up. They're relying on their intuition to maneuver through the situation, but their indecision here and in their overall personality is being carried over here as well. They have a hard time making up their mind. They don't trust easily. But fourth house for how they're approaching you. They view you as someone who's very stable, has a lot to offer, very grounded. Someone that would make a great, a long-term partner. With the world and the fool, I'm also getting there may initially, for some of you, be distance or travel involved. That'll be for a few of you. And fourth house for how they're approaching you, maybe through family and friends, people that you already know. Some of you may know this person as well. Um, really depends. Listen to your intuition with this one. But we have fourth house and tenth house. Strong power couple vibes here. But definitely meeting through a father figure or through family. Because fourth house talks about the mother. Tenth house talks about the father. Or they could just view you as their other half, right? Sort of the yin-yang energy I'm getting. But they'll feel very comfortable, safe around you quite quickly. More so than... In their dealings with others, they they keep their distance, but they'll find themselves letting their guard down with you quite quickly, and that may be surprising for them. There may be some similarities here when it comes to your backgrounds with the world, same race, culture, religion, similar beliefs, and they'll be very possessive. Once they find you, they'll have a hard time letting go of you. There is challenges here, which I'll get to in your outcome, but yeah, they're approaching you here for stability, commitment. They're wanting something stable. At least that is how they're coming towards you. Why they're coming towards you, we have 10th house, the lovers, five of pentacles, queen of cups. Someone here around the time you meet is going through some challenges. Can be financial, looking for a job, can be something to do with family, right? 10th house. This person will be very healing for you. Their positive vibes, their hands, Something about their hands is very healing. They may be a, someone that works in the healing field or the medical field somehow for some of you. Doctor, therapist, counseling, that's what I'm getting. They may assist you in some manner. They'll be very emotionally supportive. But they feel that you both can have a strong partnership. You can be a power couple. You really complete each other. It's two pieces to the puzzle, the lovers, and they're drawn to your more feminine side. This person may be younger than you, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be about a lot, but a few years. They're drawn to your more mothering, nurturing side as well. They may have grown up without a father for some of you. Yeah, they may have been raised in the single parent home Maybe two siblings and a mother is what I'm getting for some of you. They've been through their share of challenges growing up, I'm getting. Their father may have been unavailable. I don't know, it can be something to do with, you know, emotionally unavailable or just their physical presence. They weren't around as much. Something. But they'll feel the strong physical and emotional pull towards you, right? With the lovers. This is a strong bond. It'll be difficult to break this apart here. What is going on in their love life right now? We have three of pentacles, the chariot temperance. This may be someone who travels for work or is traveling for school, but chariot and temperance talks about travel movement. And three of pentacles, I'm not sure if they're actively looking. They are manifesting you. You represent the Queen of Cups energy for them. So someone who's emotionally supportive, someone they have a strong emotional, physical connection with, which they'll find with you, with the lovers. So that is what they're looking for. But I see someone who's traveling, sort of focused on themselves, bettering themselves, working on themselves. But work definitely can be on their mind here as well. So I don't know, they're waiting for you is what I'm getting. Maybe dating around can be something more lighthearted. I don't see anything serious here 
For your outcome, we have third house, Capricorn, Moon, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You know that power couple vibe that I was getting up here? I see that here with Moon, Capricorn. I see a lot of discussions about your goals, aspirations, what you vision for yourself for the future, right? Discussing work, your goals with each other. Very practical couple. But I see this will take its time. This will grow because I did ask what is the potential for long term. We have star, ten of pentacles. This is likely the one a wish come true. Someone you may have children, a family with. Someone you'll move in with. Right? You've manifested this person as well. They were manifesting you in their energy. So it's a dream come true for the both of you. But initially what is going on here is almost... You both have been wishing for this, but once you meet each other there's fears that are creeping in so i see sort of that runner chaser dynamic with the lovers some of you 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 know they do say twin flame runner chaser can be that because it's almost getting what you want and then fear is getting in the way but i think they will overcome this because there's strong potential here and star is major arcana so it's triumphing over the seven of swords so initially one of you may be exhibiting player like tendencies unwilling to settle down right but this person most likely it's this person but they'll it's almost they're sneaking back to the queen of pentacles here right you feel like home to this person so even if they venture off for a little bit i see them returning i don't see you bothered i see you being independent very much focused on your stability your goals right and this may start off as more casual or lighthearted. So you're both not having much expectations. So yeah, you will need time to build that trust um, between the both of you. There may be um, a little bit of an on again, off again situation initially, but it will stabilize here. The more time energy you invest, things will be more stable. Some of you that on again, off again can be because of the distance. Or someone's job. Yeah, that was what I was getting as well. Their overall personality, we have ownership. I take ownership for how I make others feel and I do my part to repair any bridges I might have burned. So this is someone who does take ownership. If they do wrong, right, they'll be one to accept their mistakes. So yes, if they hurt you, they will apologize. They have no issue taking responsibility. It's beautiful. I'm getting a strong masculine energy, regardless of whether they're, you know, mask, you know, man or woman, whatever you identify as, but strong masculine energies here. We have Miracle 70. Yeah, healing, answered prayers, remission. I was telling you, this person's been manifesting you, praying for you, right? With temperance, I'm getting that. But the situation is a miracle. You've both manifested this. It's in the stars. It's faded. That's what I'm getting. The universe is blessing this connection. And it's very spiritual. It's meant to be faded. Look at that. North node, 12th house. There's some karma that needs to be worked through here. With north node and 12th house. Yeah. It can be even past life if you believe in that. We have 44 seven and four four stability here no place like home the comforts of home family leisure yeah you will represent home for this person so no matter how far they venture off with the fool they'll be back around you're the one they feel safe comfortable with and there will be stability a long-term commitment here and we have a match by the way look at that king of pentacles queen of pentacles ten of pentacles a family we have influences, attachments, third parties, peers. I see that in your outcome where someone is having a hard time making up their mind. Most likely, I've seen a lot of indecision in their energy. You are coming through as more stable. So this person knows that if they are to come towards you, they have to come correct, right? They have to have a substantial offer. Otherwise, you won't be interested with the Queen of Pentacles. And that may be a bit scary for them as well initially, right? Because Moon and Capricorn is a very um, serious placement. 
very practical, business-minded. No time for nonsense, right? Calm, cool, collected. Whereas the third house is a more lighthearted dating, right? Keeping things casual. We have hoping, accepting, faith, manifesting. Yeah, this is what this person's doing right now. They have a lot of hope. They're very optimistic, right? That sparkle in their eye. And they are manifesting you. The Queen of Cups. We have answer the call. When they call, answer the call. Don't let pride keep your love broken when your heart wants to fix it. It might be worth a second chance. Um, that's for a few of you. I don't get strong energy. It is someone from your past. But judgment can sometimes talk about second chances. So for some of you, it will be. And others of you, it's just a second chance at love, right? Because you've got you've come out of something difficult here. Some lessons. So they're saying don't let past experiences let you push this person away. They'll be very healing for you. They're very positive and uplifting. That is the impact they'll have on you, Capricorn, long term. They're a miracle. They're a blessing. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? Let's get some. We have a woman. This is physical features. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? Exaggerated features. Yeah, wasn't I telling you about the makeup? They're very good at expressing themselves. They're very creative. And they may use makeup as a form of expression here as well. Or clothing. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? Facial hair, so some of them. Facial hair. That's too many. We have younger than you. Yeah, I mentioned that, didn't I? Yeah, they may be younger than you by a few years. Which is why they may, you know, they were manifesting you, but they may not be ready. You're at the nine here in your outcome. So it will take a little bit of time before you get to the ten of pentacles. They have a lot of potential. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship? Partner? If they aren't younger as in years, it may be just in, you know, maturity levels. I don't know, though. They are coming through as the king of pentacles. Some of you, they have dark skin. Who is Capricorn's next? They may have blue eyes. Let's get medium skin tone. So we have dark skin or medium skin tone. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? Black or African American. So we do have a lot of reference to dark skin. But then we have the blue eyes. Black hair. We have elderly. Some of you may be older here. Last one, we have light skin. So it really depends. We have a lot about their skin tone here. Some of you, they have glasses, baby face, round face and makeup. I definitely see the round face and makeup. That's sort of a Libra ascendant vibe I'm getting with the baby face. But they can be wearing glasses. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? We have I. So this can be their first, last, or middle name. I don't know. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? Nose. Something about their nose you may like. nose and their eyes and <laughs> that's funny eye nose eyes we have n in who is capricorn's next serious relationship on their piercings so they may have nose piercings and we have ears or their ears may be pierced we're having a lot about their face, nose, eyes, ears. They're athletic. 
and they're very supportive. Yeah, they will be. They'll be very healing to you. And we have independent and spiritual. You may really like their voice here as well. They're a good listener. They actually pay attention when you're talking. You know how some people can appear to be listening, but they're sort of dozing off. This person will truly listen to what you have to say. They're athletic. Yeah, I'm seeing Aries in their energy with the Fool. So they do like to work out, move around. Who is Capricorn's next serious relationship partner? They're outspoken. Yeah, that's that Aries energy coming through. They may have an Earth Moon. Let me see what I'm seeing. Um, I have Capricorn. Yeah, they may have a moon in Capricorn because we had that inner outcome. That's the only Earth energy I'm seeing here. Oh, we have Taurus here as well. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn moon? Who is Capricorn's? Yeah. Love at first sight. So it's an instant attraction. It's love at first sight for the both of you. Right? They were very attracted, at least with the lovers. But you won't see that. With the High Priestess, Four of Pentacles, they'll start off as a secret admirer. They won't reveal all in the first meeting, you know? They're jealous, yeah. Makes sense with that Scorpio coming through. And they're also very confident, sensitive. That's that Knight of Cups. We have a Water Moon. So one of you may have an Earth Moon, the other one may have a Water Moon. We have Love's Children. They're good with children. They're very much in touch with their inner child. I was telling you they're going to be very healing for you. So it may be that they'll help heal your inner child or bring out your more playful side. We have a gentleman or gentlewoman courteous. They have good manners. They'll be very... They can be aloof. And appreciative. And they like to go to the gym. They work out. They may even be religious here. Yeah, candle. <laughs> Look at that. Cheerful. Unexpected meeting. Yeah, Uranus. Candlelight dinner. Yeah, they're very romantic with that Knight of Cups. And they love children. You may have children with them. A family. But it will take its time, right? There is initial hurdles here. But yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.